Hello, this is Willpole 100 appearing once again with Factorio. So, last episode I finished automating green science production. We just still kind of have a uh, green science volmec. It is technically automated, it's just not running fast at the moment. I'm wondering if that's because I'm not feeding enough uh, iron or what? Yeah, I'm probably not getting enough uh, inserters out because I'm probably not fitting enough iron to the uh, assembling machine. I just manually, what was it again to throw? Z. Okay, I'll just throw a couple couple of iron on. That way this thing can grab all of them, right? So we need to produce uh, more gears. Which it's doing. Slowly, but doing. In fact, I could probably even put another machine in here if we could get the iron rolling in quick enough that the gear machine runs fast enough. Of course, to do that, we want advanced material process. Because with advanced material processing, uh, I can't show it because I don't have it, but we can make an even bigger furnace. Made of steel. Instead of this uh, cheapy brick that I have. Or instead of this cheapy stone that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and remember to collect our steel. So that our steel furnaces can get going again. Right now they're not being emptied automatically, so I have to do it myself. I should probably set up a furnace over here smelting stone into brick. And let's uh, get that fed as well. So I just set up two fast inserters. So this thing's got all the stone it wants, right? But I don't have any cold going into it at the moment. So we'll just do kind of like a weird daisy change thing there to get the uh, cold going where I want it. And there we are, we're making bricks. And we need the bricks for making the uh, steel engine, or the uh, steel furnaces. So again, we're just waiting on advanced material processing. So we need to consume 50 green science facts to do that. And the bottleneck is the green science specs, because we're just not getting enough in to get all the science labs working at the same time. Or all the science labs working all at the same time with green science. We don't seem to be backlogging that badly on red. I was actually expecting to be backlogging on red bad, but on red worse. But this setup is working. I'm just about to finish the advanced material processing. And the question is, what tech am I going to run afterwards? I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. I know we need advanced material processing to get the uh, steel furnaces. But do I want to start taking advantage of my abundant local oil sources? Or do I want to be working on getting some solar up so I don't have to rely on these uh, steam engines? Ah, advanced material process. So we have a choice of all these kind of yellow ones up at the top. We do advanced electronics. We can do logistics. Two engines, which we'll need for cars. Electric distribution. Oh, I should probably do electric distribution so I can get better poles than the ones I'm using. That are also made with steel instead of trees, so I have to deforce the area. Uh, tool bolt. Lab efficiency. That's actually a, uh, that would be a good one if we had more science packs going. Right. Uh, insert or item si stack size most. Probably don't need that. Uh, military. This would give us uh, piercing rounds and hand grenades. And as well as allowing uh, military 3. What do we get from military 3? Uh, military 3 requires rocketry. As well as it provides a combat shot. Uh, we got full processing here, bullet damage, bullet damage, all that sort of stuff. Military damage. Okay, let's. 
So this is required for advanced material processing, solar energy, laser, yeah, yeah, I want... Uh, let's go electric distribution, then I'm going to go advanced electronics next. Get the bigger poles, and then use the bigger poles to take more advantage of power. Okay, so now that we have steel, we can make steel furnaces. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get stone bricks, because we need 10 stone bricks per furnace. And I'm going to start switching out furnaces for steel furnaces. And the first one I'm going to do is the one making the stone, so we get the stone twice as fast. Or the, the bricks twice as fast. There we are. Running twice as fast, meaning we get twice as many bricks. And I'm still going to have a bum like of bricks, aren't I? Yeah, I need... I want to basically replace all these furnaces with bricks. Or, or with the uh, steel furnaces. Which requires 10 bricks of furnace. Got 10 furnaces here, so that's 100 bricks. Plus well, so I think there's 12 over here, so that's... Uh, 22 plus 4, 26. 260 bricks I need. Plus I'll be needing bricks for walls. and So, so upgrading the steel furnace first wasn't a bad idea. It's probably a very wise idea. Take those stone bricks. Going to go ahead and craft your steel furnace. I'm going to immediately assign it to making iron. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the left side. So we definitely have a right uh, underflow of iron here. So that will produce iron twice as fast. Uh, once I hit electrical, I'm going to have to basically rearrange all these furnaces because they're all going to have to move out one, one, la one layer. But then I can uh, get rid of the coal line down the middle. As well as I think it can run faster. So actually, I won't have to make it... I won't have to do that much. I just have to tear out the center. And I can just do iron down the center into steel furnaces. Okay. More stone bricks, then I can turn into another stone furnace, or another steel furnace. What I have is stone furnaces, so I want to upgrade stone or my stone furnaces to steel. So I'll place the uh, steel furnace there. And that immediately turns it into iron. Still waiting a little bit more on bricks. So it, it, it's doubled the speed, but that's still... It's it's slow if you're relying on just one of them, right, to make all the stone bricks. And we're just basically trying to double our iron output. Double our refining speed. It looks like we still have a major shortage of green science packs. Again, still pretty much due to the fact that we have a shortage of inserters. Which is not to the, uh... Those faults, it's... We just don't have enough gears. We're not getting enough gears out of this. Granted, we're not even getting enough gears for our red science packs. Underestimating the power of these things for making gears. So we got very simple setups. Uh, way too much irons been mined over here, relative to the amount of stuff that we've actually managed to sh shift into into stuff, changing the stuff, right? Another one of our stone furnaces has been upgraded to steel. And we are starting to see that we actually have more and more and more coming out at the same time, right? So these might actually start to get enough uh, steel plates that they're not entirely uh, just sitting there waiting for them, right? If we're still s sitting around waiting for steel plates, I might have to expand the uh, iron refining. Okay, 
which requires more fiddling. Ten more stone bricks, which means one more steel furnace. This is just a little bit of slow and tedious trying to upgrade everything. It is pretty much going to save us. We're going to save uh, half the volume in coal, get a lot more iron out in the same sort of space. Starting to be very tempted to. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put another another stone furnace down so we can get get going a little faster. Though actually thinking about it, that would be that one's going to be hard to get uh, coal to. Oh, we got mass backlogs of coal. I just pick a coal off the track and just shove it in there, right? Grab. Make an inserter. Make it fast. Okay, so that one's running. Uh, we'll make another brick producer. So that we can make more bricks, right? We need more bricks to make more furnaces. Now granted, the furnaces don't build very quickly themselves, and I'm building them hand by hand. But they're still going to be a lot, a lot more effective space-wise than these old stone ones. Okay, I mean, this entire left side is upgraded, and we still don't have any any shortage of things at the end waiting for uh, this grabber. It's just grab and put them in as soon as they're made. In fact, it gets lucky if one gets passed from this one to the next one. But this thing is now running at almost full speed, so that, that's good. That's a start. So yeah, we're getting a lot more copper, or a lot more uh, gear production. You can see, might even start being piling up now. Nope, I, t I, I, I planned it too well. This thing actually will consume every last gear that I give it. Let's pick up this one at the end so they uh, don't quite have to sit there and have uh, gears past the uh, zone, right? So we're getting the iron, or getting the uh, red science piling up because we actually have enough uh, gear protection for red science. We don't have much to spare, but we have enough. So we'll get the stone bricks. And I will make more furnaces, and we'll put that on the right side. Then I'll upgrade the uh, copper production, even though we don't appear to need more copper production, because it's uh, good to have it upgraded and uh, getting more production for our coal. So we're just not wasting as much coal. That's two more uh, iron coming on this side. These are going to have to get upgraded, which is just going to raise our demand for iron, of course. Or I suppose uh, once I have all this, I don't need all four of them. I'll probably just switch to two. Save us a few uh, steel furnaces. Okay, running back over. Grab more of the bricks. Bricks, bricks. More steel furnaces. I'm not even having a steel shortage. I, I planned so far ahead for the case of steel production, and I have more steel production than I need. There we go. That that's iron on our current setup maxed out, which may result in me having to rearrange because I might need more iron. Or I might find that the iron production barely produces enough to supply the iron, uh, supply that now it's a new setup. I don't think that'll be the case. I think I should probably have enough. And more bricks. I mean, I can start steel furnaces. Uh, do I want to expand? No, I won't bother expanding the uh, steel production right now because I don't need it for anything else. Uh, I'm going to expand the copper production, especially in the places where we're boxing it. We can go ahead and box it and not have to worry. The box is full. That was actually not a, not a situation I was expecting. Uh, let's make a steel chest, because we can make a steel chest. 
and I'll fix the full box problem with a bigger chest. This one's not quite so full. And I definitely don't need more copper, otherwise I'd pick it up. Stone, stone. Let's make some more steel furnaces. Which actually, if I already filled that chest up, let's move over to the other side. Upgrade the other side first. So we can save more on uh, fuel costs as well as we're actually still... haven't actually quite filled that box up yet. And though this one technically isn't going to fill up for a longer time, uh, there's no point in pushing it, right? So we're still waiting on our iron gears. Which isn't horrible, because I didn't plan on that thing eating every last iron gear produced. If anything, it's that we're diverting iron gear production to these. And that's resulting in uh, less iron gears being made. 50% of the iron gears are going towards tread making. Or uh, belt making. Not treadmills, they're belts. But I suppose they make pretty good treadmills too. Some more steel furnaces. Because this, this, this newfangled steel furnace is the way of the future. It has electric energy distribution. Almost complete. Electrical energy distribution. So that'll be useful. I can switch out all our pole, all my previous small poles for medium electric poles. Possibly get quite a few, get fewer in the system. So I can get advanced electronics, uh, which I need for smart chests, as well as the prerequisites for electric furnaces, solar panels, and blazer guns. So that's a very tempting option. The other tempting option is to go... I don't quite need substations. Uh, not engines. Uh, oil processing, so I can start getting oil. Though again, I don't really need oil until I'm trying to do batteries or other stuff, which means I probably want solar first. So yeah, let's go advance electronics. Okay, so more more brick, more brick. Oh, that's only one more steel furnace. I'm going back and forth too quickly to the thing to get, to get uh, bricks. Okay, steel furnace down. That means more copper production. Let's actually make, uh, while we're sitting here, before I forget, let's upgrade that chest to a steel chest. So I don't have to worry about it running, running out of space. Because right now, we got lots of copper, but I'll be needing lots of copper later. So we're finding extra early now is not an issue, but running out later would be an issue. We have plenty of coal production. We're also providing providing the demand. Uh, assuming I haven't screwed up and these things don't work properly, uh, we should be okay with uh, those things. Mines are going along. Actually, in fact, most of the mines aren't working because they don't have any space to go into. If anything, that'll be, become a problem, because we have lots and lots of mines, lots and lots of things that just aren't working, because we have no place to put stuff. So I, I could uh, foresee uh, power shortages in the future. Luckily, you don't have real-life brownouts, where you have too much draw on the system, and the system doesn't work because of it. You only have scenarios where you just don't have the power. Stone brick. Stone brick. So that's actually enough for three more furnaces. So let's get those furnaces underway. Uh, I really only need four more furnaces. Well, three, three here. And I suppose I should probably upgrade the steel while I'm at it. Okay, we have a lot more iron getting through. In fact, we have a... We have a yeah, let's upgrade that... Um, fast inserter to a fast one, or that inserter to a fast inserter. Because I'm telling we have a major backlog of stuff goes in, more stuff rolls up, but this thing isn't isn't quite running at full speed. It's an easy to get two inputs for every output. And there we go, much more, much more speed. That's getting us more gears. 
Uh, I probably need to change the output as well to gear into blue to uh, get the output out faster. If I want to make it even better, I just upgrade this one to a blue one, just so it works faster. Later on, when I have effectivity modules, I'll probably want to upgrade all the machines to uh, the blue kind, so I can put effectivity modules in. Also, around the same time, where I'm going to be wanting to upgrade all of these to the electric ones, because the electric ones I can put effectivity modules in as well. Stonebrick, Stonebrick. I actually don't need your setup anymore, so we're going to pick you up. We'll pick you up. Okay. Steel Furnace. I guess just a crap full of Steel Furnaces. Do have to break for another one yet? No. I'll come back up in a bit. So we'll just upgrade all these to full production speed. Why is this bottom one not working? Why are you not working? Oh, we've actually cleared the iron backlog. Or sort of cleared the iron backlog. We're going to kind of have a slight problem here. Due to we have too much coming in from the left side. Uh, well, there's an easy way to fix that. Like that. That'll fix that. Temporarily, at least. And if we really have too much of a backlog, then it's not going to work. We're, we're going to find out quickly. So we just mine up all the iron. So that'll get these ones at least working on this side, right? So we'll get a little more inflow. Maybe I need to upgrade to uh, fast track too. I might have to actually get higher level tracks. So these simple transport belts. I might have to get the uh, fast transport belts. All right, we got the bottom ones working again. Now watch, because I'm upgrading the iron consumption rate. We're not gonna have iron anymore. Ah, advanced electronics are complete. So lasers, laser turrets would be useful for defense. The other one is we can go solar energy, solar panel, panels to reduce the uh, drain on our polluting primary source. And our logistics. That is where the fast transport belts are. Which require lots and lots of hand gear wheels. Uh, advanced electronics, which are just prerequisites to everything. Cleaning robotics. Uh, engines, tool belt, lab, inserters, oil processing. A lot of other stuff. Modules. Modules would come useful at some point. As well as their prerequisite for uh, Automation 3 by looks good. But no, let's get... Oh, I can also get advanced material processing. I can go straight into, uh, or into electric furnaces. So I can make all the furnaces that I just replaced obsolete. Or, let's actually get some defenses around the base before I go obsoleting everything. Before I obsolete everything, let's get some defensive lasers. Stone bricks. Let's make our final steel furnace. And then I'm never going to touch steel furnaces again. I now have a giant pile of... giant pile of stone furnaces that I don't need. Only have enough green science to get those first ones working, it's sad. All because of gears. We don't have enough gear production. Well, there is one way to fix that. Let's make the gear production faster. Interestingly enough, I that wouldn't do any good because we've got uh, shortage on the amount of uh, iron plates coming in. Which is the primary, primary kicker. So I realize I've got another one just hanging out here. Gotta make sure all these things get into all the machines. You can see the little bit of end workings where it's roboting things. Well, I'm Wilco 100. I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in here. I finished upgrading all my furnaces from stone to steel, radically increasing their product productivity. So if you like this and want to see more, please leave a like and a subscription. The like is useful for me so because it, it tells me how much people actually want to see more of this particular type of video. Uh, the subscription is also useful. 
as, well, both for me and you, because for me it helps me gauge the size of my audience. For you, it uh, makes it so that you are notified if and when I make new videos. If you have any comments on how to make this or any other episodes better, please leave a comment in the comment section. Till next time, this is Willful Wonder.